so in the previous class we have seen how we created a procedure and what is the use of the procedure so today we will only execute that same steps and also we will see the how to uh, run the procedure and how we save a procedure so let's start with creating a procedure in the previous video we seen that we are starting with a square procedure so how we can create we will write edit command space double quotation and then we will write square we, when we will execute this command then and there one window will come that is known as editor window and there two lines will automatically generated previous class also i mentioned the same thing so this two square and end this two line automatically generated and that is the structure of the procedure now where we will put our cursor after the first line here then we will press enter from the keyboard and we will type the commands to complete this procedure now we know very well that for square we, what we generally write so this is the code for making a square so here i completed and then we will click on file and then save and exit after completing these steps we will run the procedure how we run a procedure by only writing the procedure name in the input box here which one is the procedure name square so we will only write the square procedure name c with that we completed one square in the screen now what is the use of procedure for drawing the same shape we want to avoid the retyping of the commands so if i want again trying to draw a square we will check we are retyping the same commands again and again or not let's see so i'm just changing the title position and i'm again calling the procedure using the same process by writing the procedure name right just have a look i not write like repeat 4fd 120 rt 90 i only write the procedure name then and there it giving me square next again see i am again drawing the another square using the same method like that way you can see four square i have drawn but using very few steps of commands so we can use this with the help of the uh, logo procedure only right now we will check how to save a procedure for saving a procedure what we will do we will write save command then give a space double quotation and then we will save this procedure by a file name why we save a procedure because if you are saving it now then later on even if you are closing the window now whenever you are again opening this window we can access that particular procedure you no need to make the procedure again by writing edit then the procedure name we will write the editor uh, we write the commands in the editor window we can avoid the steps if we are saving by a file name so here i am giving the save command for saving and then double quotation and giving a name also that is what assignment by this file name i'm saving this so it is already saved it is showing now what we will do i am closing this window to check and again reopening this msw logo now here have a look now what we have to do we have to open that particular saved file then only we can access that procedure other else not so by assignment name we have saved it so how we open that saved file name load space double quotation then we will write the file name what is that assignment we executed it now what we will do we will directly call the procedure that is square now suppose i am uh, writing repeat 
six square RT sixty. I'm not making any square procedure because I already done the completion of it, right? So I have saved it also by a file name and previously I loaded that one. I have opened that particular file name that is assignment. So now if I am executing C. So we no need to make the procedure again and we no, no need to write the commands in the editor window. If we are saving a procedure once, we can again reuse the same thing. So I think up to this, your confusion are clear about the procedures. Still, if you are having any doubt, you write in the comment section.